Hurricane Michael. Historic. Powerful. Deadly. Hurricane Michael struck the Florida Panhandle in October of 2018. It slowly formed in the Western Caribbean and then steadily strengthened while moving northward in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. Landfall was on Wednesday, October 10th with Category 5 wind of 160 miles per hour. A distinct large eye, a sign of an intense system, was obvious before landfall. NOAA hurricane hunters were in the storm and so too were the U.S. Air Force Reserve hurricane hunters. You can actually see the beaches and the extreme surf in the eye of the storm. Storm surge was between 9 and 14 feet above the ground. Surge and waves eroded beaches and collapsed roads near the shore. Debris was pushed inland. It was entire homes with everything that some families owned. The buildings that stood up near the coast were ones that were raised and reinforced. Storm surge simply went underneath them. Ground level structures were battered by water and swept inland. Wind still damaged many buildings. Homes in southeastern Alabama and central Georgia had damage from extreme wind with airborne debris and from falling trees. Category 3 hurricane force wind gusts were felt in southwest Georgia. Tropical storm force winds spread northward through the Carolinas to New Jersey. Over 2 million people lost electricity throughout six different states. Millions of trees were snapped or knocked down. Between Florida, Georgia, and Alabama, the value of the lost timber was over $2 billion. In Georgia alone, agriculture and farm animal losses were far beyond another billion dollars. At least 55 people were killed, most of them in Florida. In communities where roads were blocked and people were cut off, helicopter rescues may have saved lives. Flooding took lives in Central America as Michael was forming. Damage costs for Category 5 Hurricane Michael were around $25 billion. Recovery was a long process for families and for communities. Based on the total impact, the name was retired. I'm meteorologist Alan Seals.